So I'm Steve Kingston, I'm project manager here at South Crofty. Um, I started just over two years ago initially to build the water treatment plant just here and now going on to other projects such as winders and um, mineral processing plants etc. As part of the efforts to dewater South Crofty, one of the big challenges was to be able to clean the water up that was coming out of the mine. Since the mine shut down in 1998, the water discharge has been contaminated with metals like um, arsenic and iron. To dewater the mine, the pumping rate had to increase massively, which would put more contaminants into the river. So to enable that, we had to build a water treatment plant, which would remove those contaminants. Uh, that has the added benefit of where we're cleaning up to a much better standard, is actually taking the water in the river to a better quality than it was before we started dewatering. So we um, started physically on site at the beginning of October 2022 with the, with the construction of the uh, concrete pad that we're sat on. Um, over the next 12 months, we um, put, the, uh, put all the tanks in place, all the various pieces of equipment, the steel structure, the cabling, the pipework, etc. Um, and we commissioned the plant at the end of October 2023. So you've basically given us a 12 month build time. When we switch the pumps on, you have up to 25 million litres of water per day, which is over, over a thousand cubic metres an hour, um, coming into the plant pretty much at once. So yeah, you've got a lot of water, water coming in at, in at that moment. The water comes from the mine shaft just over there. We saw a cook shaft, which everybody locally would recognise by, by its structure. Um, but that's water that's infil infiltrated under the mine workings, which extends sort of a kilometre that way and two kilometres that way. So it infiltrates over the whole area. We pump it out of that shaft and then it comes across the site into the plant here. Once it's treated, the water goes through the back end of the plant, down through another mine shaft, through a hydro turbine, and then into our, um, into our adit system, where it discharges around about two kilometers downstream into the Red River. So the Red River runs in the valley, which is running sort of at 90 degrees to the railway there. And that f finds its way down to uh, Gadrevi, which is around about four kilometers that, that way towards the northwest. So it just follows that valley line. Yeah, so this is on stage four of the process. So we've just added lime to it in the previous tank. So sort of lime into the water, that's raised the pH right up. As it then comes into this clarifier, the metals left in the water, which at this point is, is mainly manganese, copper, aluminium. Those metals actually drop out of solution into the clarifier below us and then we get this nice, nice clear water off the top end of it. We go to a final stage of treatment just to my rise here where we add CO2 to it. And what that does is that, that, that um, lowers the pH back down to a safe level before it's discharged. The plant's been designed to have as low a visual impact as possible to the point that we're six months into construction, all the heavy, plant, heavy equipment's here on site. And um, I remember being at a, at a meeting and somebody said to me, so when are you actually gonna start building it? and they literally lived 400 metres that way. <laughs> so it's nearly finished, you know? <laughs> so yeah, from that point of view, most people don't even notice it's here. Since we uh, started discharging into the river, which is in early November, what we've actually seen is the clarity of the water has improved massively. Uh, before we started discharging, it's quite an orangey colour. Um, it's now, it's, it's pretty much crystal clear now. And the actual metals content in the river has dropped down massively. So you're actually seeing um, the arsenic levels in the river now for the first time, so within, within sort of standard levels. It's a bit small to swim in, but, <laughs> but it, looks a, it looks a lot better down at Kadrivi now, where it comes out, where, yeah, where it used to be quite a muddy grey colour now, it's now looking pretty clear. It's been, I mean, it's, it, ba it basically goes back through all, all recorded history. It's been known as the Red River because it's red, because of the amount of, of, the amount of mining activity on it. Um, you know, if you actually uh, talk to people before the mine shut down, or where it used to actually be a, a, almost like tomato soup in colour, people actually fondly remember it. And you see, so you do see some comments from people locally saying, "Well, when can we add the Red River back again?" <laughs> but yeah, generally, most people are really impressed with the actual um, how how the river's cleaned up. And um, yeah, most people don't fondly remember the Red River, but yeah, it's, it's well known. <laughs>